If you look up Wolverine in Google, what most likely come up is the Marvel superhero. Same with YouTube. So, how did you stumble upon this video anyway? Well, whatever the answer is, if it's not obvious enough, I'm gonna talk about the animal Wolverine, not the superhero one. So, let me broad up the question. What exactly is Wolverine? Wolverine means little wolf, but they are not a wolf. They are not even in the same family. They are Mustalid, specifically in the Gulonine subfamily. Their closest relative is the Tyra from South America. If you've never heard of Tyra, then the other close relative would be Martens. Wolverine's scientific name is Gulo Gulo. Gulo is a Latin word which means glutton. You know, like the sin gluttony. In fact, its name in many European languages means glutton. We'll talk about this glutton stuff later. Wolverines are widely distributed in the northern region. Some separate the Old World and New World Wolverines into two different subspecies. Gulo 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 for the Old World, Gulo Gulo Luscus for the New World. As with other mustelid, they have an elongated body with short legs. Each of their legs have five digits and each with a moderately sized sharp claw. They use this claw to traverse snowy terrains and climb. Compared to weasels and martens, their body is relatively stocky. Among the carnivores, they are medium-sized. Adult wolverines are usually around 65 to 109 centimeters long. Males are bigger than females, often with more than 10% longer and 30% heavier. While they are not the biggest mustelid, they are known to be the biggest terrestrial mustelid. Sea otters can be bigger than them, which is also a mustelid if you didn't know. Their tail is moderate in length among the mustelid usually around 17 to 26 centimeters. Wolverine's upper back molars are rotated 90 degrees, which helps them rip and tear frozen meat, helpful because they live in the cold northern region. However, this characteristic is not unique to the wolverine. Other mustelids have these rotated molars, even those that don't live in the cold regions. Wolverine's furs are mostly dark brown. Some individuals have distinct pale white stripes, especially on their face. These furs are thick, including the one on their tail. These furs are oily and hydrophobic. That makes them frost resistant. Wolverines are carnivorous, and a very versatile one. In fact, they are mostly scavengers, because there are not that much prey available in the northern region. Sometimes they follow other predators to feed on the leftovers. Being a scavenger is actually pretty viable in the cold region because most carcasses don't decay as fast. They do hunt living prey though, mostly small mammals, but they can also hunt larger prey like reindeers when the condition is right. For example, weaken or trap target. They also eat eggs, insect larvae, and some plant parts like roots, seeds, and berries. Sometimes, they also hoard foods, especially females with newborns. This behavior, combined with how voracious they look when they eat, led to the nickname Glutton, hence their scientific name and their name in many European languages. Wolverines are mostly solitary. Males are territorial. They mark their territory with anal sand gland which secrete vowel-smelling odor. This smell earns them the nickname Skunk Bear. Male territory can overlap with several female home range. They usually mate in the summer, but they have delayed implantation until early winter. Females usually will only become pregnant when foods are readily available. Newborns are usually born around February to April in snow caves, usually two to three kids. They become independent at around five to six months, but they usually stay near the same area for about one to two years, which is also the time when they will reach sexual maturity. The natural threats for the wolverine will be wolves, bears, and cougars, especially the wolves. Other threats would be humans. That's kinda obvious, isn't it? Their hydrophobic furs make them quite popular for winter clothing. Some people hunt wolverines to avoid any potential threats to their livestock. Still, wolverines are considered least concerned by the IUCN Red List because of their widespread distribution and relatively stable population. In 2023, the US Fish and Wildlife Service announced the North American wolverines will receive federal protection as a threatened species.
Wolverine is one of the most misunderstood animals. There are many myths and bad reputation about them. If you are on your late 20s or older, maybe you've seen this kind of info card. Even this card has incorrect myths in it. If you try googling Wolverine the animal, most conversation on the internet overhype them. I feel like looking at people power scaling anime characters, but real animals instead. Good news is, for real animal, we could actually observe them to determine whether it's correct or not. And there are real zoologists that dedicate their life on observing them. The first myth that I commonly heard is that they are ferocious, fearless, and very aggressive. I mean, if you search Wolverine in YouTube, aside from the many Marvel Wolverine videos, you'll see several videos with title or thumbnail stating they are ferocious. I believe even the most viewed video claim they are the most ferocious animal. First of all, I'm not sure what they mean by ferocious, but whatever it is, I don't think they are correct. A lot of the time, the argument that they are ferocious is the fact that they can and will attack large prey, several times larger than their size. While that is true, the large preys that they attack are the one that basically will not fight back. They usually attack larger preys that are highly disadvantageous. For example, they will hunt reindeer on deep snow terrain. Even though reindeers are also northern animal, they are bad at traversing deep snow. Meanwhile, wolverines are good at that, so they are highly favored in this hunt. They usually deploy the usual mustali tactics, which is targeting the prey spine to incapacitate them. Then they can try to finish the hunt. When facing dangerous foe, let's say for example, healthy adult moose, wolverines will most likely won't even try, and that's only moose. I've even heard people stating wolverine can beat wolves and bears. I mean, yeah, they can, the possibility is not zero, but the fact is, they will most likely not even try. Most of the time, when there are larger predators in the area, wolverine will completely avoid that area. The other most common argument for stating they are ferocious is the fact that they have been observed trying to steal food from a bear. That is indeed correct. They might do this in desperation. There was such case and it was even recorded. But, did you know, in that specific case, the bear ended up killing the wolverine. Not a really good example, isn't it? So yes, another obscure myth spreading on the internet. Second myth, they have strong claws to rip apart their prey. Well, I don't even know where this myth came from. Maybe from the superhero wolverine? I mean, just try looking up their claw. Their claw is nothing special. A simple Google image search will do. In fact, most of their prey don't even have any claw marks, which means most of the time they don't even use their claws to hunt. While we're talking about the possibility of the myths coming from the superhero wolverine, it's probably quite obvious, but yes, they don't have extraordinary regenerative capability, they don't have slower aging, they don't have super strength, they don't have super agility, they don't have super sense, or any of those mutant powers. They have a good sense of smell though, because it helps them discover food buried in the snow. Even their name is a false etymology. They are not closely related to wolf, and they are not gluttonous. It's just their way to survive the northern region with scarce food, especially during winter. They do have good stamina though, and when we are comparing predators of similar sizes, Wolverines are indeed one of the stronger. Still, in the wild, it doesn't really matter. They cannot outmatch the larger predators in their habitat. There is also an article by The Truth About Fur that suggests Wolverine fur is not hydrophobic. They aren't even frost resistant. The reason why a lot of people use Wolverine's fur is because you can easily remove the frost. The furs are so smooth that there is nothing that will retain the frost buildup. But we still don't know how they work. There is not much research on this topic, so I suggest keeping a fair amount of skepticism on this. All in all, Wolverine is still an amazing and remarkable animal. But they are just animal. A real, natural animal. If you like them, you don't need to upscale their capability. You don't need to spread misinformation to make them look good. Appreciate them for what they are. After all, that's the core point of liking something, isn't it? If you believed these myths on Wolverine before, then hey, now you know the truth. 
but what I've said are based on what we know so far. Maybe in the future we'll discover new facts about them. Who knows? For now, let's just learn what is known. And that's all for now.